Hey, we have another integral on the board from the MIT Integration B. This is 2018 problem number nine. We have the integral of dx over one plus sine x. And what I really wanna do is solve this with wear stress substitution, but there's actually a much easier method. So what we'll do is we'll do it the easy way first and then we'll do the hard way second. So we'll do two methods. Okay, so for my first method, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna write we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine over x. This is going to give us 1 minus sine x dx over 1 minus sine squared x. But then we notice this here is just cosine squared, so we can rewrite it like this. And then we can break this into two integrals. One is going to be secant squared x, and the other one's going to be, what is the other one going to be? And the other one integral is going to be um, tan x secant x. And don't forget your dx. And then these are each very common integrals. Integral of secant squared is actually just uh, tan x. And the integral of tan x secant x is just secant x plus c. And we have an easy solution. Okay, so now we're on to method two. And method two is gonna be longer. You might be asking, well, why bother with a longer method when we just found a really easy way to solve this? And you don't have to. I mean, if this was on a time test, you could just solve it fast. Or if you just want to, you just solve it fast. But I also think it's interesting to see other methods, even if it might be longer. Sometimes you might learn something. So I like to sometimes just do it both ways or a longer way, just for learning. So for the wear stress substitution, if you're not familiar with this over here and you want more information, I did an introduction video a little while back. I'll provide a link in that to this. I'll provide a link to that in the description if you want to get some more background. But that's how we, um, in that video, we derive all these values over here on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this substitution t equals tan of x over two, and of course that seems really odd because we don't have any of that in this expression but what you'll notice is we have everything we need derived we could find a dx value and we have we need sine but we found that through manipulating this so we'll go ahead and make this substitution just write a one in the numerator we're gonna have one plus our sine value which is 2t over one plus t squared and then we need our dx which is going to be 2dt, and we'll write the 1 plus t squared in the denominator. Okay, then we just want to clean this up a little bit and distribute it this in this way, but we're going to cancel this term, okay, so that's the same, and then we're just going to multiply this with this 1 here, and let's do this. So we'll have 2dt in the numerator, and then the 1 times the 1 plus t squared is just 1 plus t squared, and then we just have our 2t here. Does this cancel with this? But notice this here is actually just t plus 1 squared. So when I rewrite this, we'll pull out a 2. We'll have our dt over t plus 1, all squared. Now you probably can do this u substitution in your head, but I'm just going to do it just so it's clear for everyone to see what I'm doing. So we're going to say u is t plus 1 and then that means our du is dt. So then rewriting this, we have two, the integral of, now this thing's u, but let's write it in the numerator as u to the minus two, du. Then just integrating, we're gonna have, we can just do in the power rule, we can do this. And so this is just minus two over u, but, but our u is t plus one, so this is actually minus two over t plus one. But now we can back substitute because we know what our t is. That was just our initial uh, substitution. So we're going to minus 2 over tan x over 2 plus 1. And I'd say we're done, but the only problem is it looks nothing like this up here. <laughs> so what we can do to start is we have this identity over here for the half angle of tangent to get it back into x. So we'll use that and plug that in. I did, I derived this in another video not too long back, so let me see if I can get a link to that as well. But we're gonna have minus two over one minus cos x over sine x plus one. 
but let's multiply a sine x through here, through on the top and bottom, so that we can cancel out this, because that's kind of ugly. Okay, so multiplying through by sine over sine, let me clean it up a little bit over here. And then here I just rearranged it. I just rearranged the order of the denominator. Because what I want to do is multiply by the conjugate here. So I'm going to multiply by sine x minus cosine x. So then now all we need to do is multiply all this stuff out. Doing that, it looks like we made a mess. But the good thing about this is actually, notice that sine squared plus cosine squared, this piece is just 1. And then we have a 1 here, which we subtract off. So we essentially can cancel this, this, and this. Then all these terms have 2s. We can get rid of all these 2s. Then I probably should have noticed in the last step that we actually have a sign. When we were canceling the 2s, we actually have a sign in every term. So we can cancel all these signs. It's going to be a 1 here. And then I think now we just have one term in the denominator. So we can actually just sort of divide each term. So like... Minus sine x over minus cos x, this is just going to be tan x. Minus co cos x over minus cos x is minus 1. And then 1 over minus cos x is minus secant x plus c. You may think that this is still not the same as this, but when you have any um, constant values, they can be absorbed in the constant on an integral. So we're left with the final answer, tan x minus secant x plus c. So I would say method two was a lot more work. <laughs> and that's actually kind of a good lesson because with the wear stress substitution, most trig integrals get much harder. It's just the one, there's just a few select cases and they actually look kind of like this, but there's a few select cases where it actually makes them easier, but a lot of them will get much longer. And this is kind of a good example of that. Again, this was MIT Integration B 2018, problem number nine. I also have a quiz with a lot of worst stress substitution problems. I'll file a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.